Please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates on civil engineering concepts. In this video, I will explain you complete step by step process of how to design the building and how to analyze the building by using StatPro V8i software. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates on civil engineering topics. Okay. So before designing any kind of the building, just we have to remember four steps in StatPro software. In that first one is modeling part and the second one is applying the load cases third one is analysis of the building and fourth one is uh, designing of the building these four steps are important in any kind of the building structural modeling analysis by using stat software okay so before going to the modeling process and before going to the analysis process and before going to the designing process initially we required some data related to how many floors the building is required and how what is the dimensions of the beam and what is the dimensions of the column and what is the dimensions of the slab and what is the different types of the load cases that we are taking and uh, uh, how the load combinations is varying okay so this is the important data this is we, we can call it as primary data so every uh, engineer knows this primary data before going to the designing of the structure okay so then after that we have to uh, make some plan model so this is also secondary data we need required so uh, plan model which is consisting of how many columns are there and uh, what is the center to center distance between the columns and what is the height of the floor these are the comes under the planning part so if you watch this complete video you can able to learn the how to take the dimensions how to how to give the properties and how to apply the load cases and how to design the structure okay so please watch the video completely and uh, you can able to design your own design by using uh stat pro vi software by yourself okay so let's start our video so firstly i will show you the data which i was saved uh, for my project which is of z plus 4 building structural model okay so here i am selecting my pdf so this is my basic parameter data which is consisting of utility of the building which is of residential building structure and number of stories will be consisting of g plus 4 and shape of the building just i am taking here as rectangular shape and type of the wall is brick wall and geometric details is uh 3.3 is the ground floor height and floor to floor height is 3 meter you can take it as 3 meter also don't worry about this 3.3 uh, so for 3.3 uh, just i was taken the 3.3 value for the parking purpose why because some of the vehicles will have greater than 3 meter height so that's why we have to take extra 10 percentage for the ground story structure okay so that's why i was taken here as 3.3 default value but you can take it as three value also okay so material properties like a grade of the concrete is m30 grade for the beams columns as well as the slabs and grade of the all steel grade is fe415 just i am considering basic grade on the steel so bearing capacity of the soil just i am taking here as 200 kilo newton per meter square and type of construction is rcc frame wood structure and column size is 0 0.46 meter or four six cross 0 0.4 4 meter and beam details is 0 0.4 meter cross 0 0.4 meter and slab thickness will be consisting of 0 0.150 meter and loads will be consisting of dead load live load earthquake load and wind load condition system so this is the basic parameter data that is required before uh, analysis and designing process now i will explain you the step by step process in designing part as well as the analysis part modeling part by using stat pro v8a software so here i am using stat pro ss5 version software so let's start our video so here i'm selecting my stat pro v8a software before selecting my stat pro v8a software initially we need to create one folder file for saving the models just i'm selecting my folder which is of g plus 4 let us consider here just i'm selecting here okay so now i'm opening my start pro v8 software <clears throat> so it will be consisting of user interface here like this it will be consisting of new project open project open project wise configuration backup manager license manager from this we have to select the new project option so from this we have this so certain options are there which is related to space plane floor truss okay so here i'm selecting play uh, space option why because i need the coordinate system in xyz coordinate system with the space coordinates only okay so if you want to select the two coordinate system plane coordinate you can select two coordinate system you can select the floor and if you want to create the truss model you can directly select here okay then after that we have to give the file name for the project just i'm giving the file name is g plus 4 and you have to select the folder location just i'm selecting these three dots and i'm selecting my g plus 4 desktop click on okay so as per our indian standard system we will consider the length will be in meter as well as the load will be in kilonewton so here in this case just i am taking the load will be in kilonewton as well as the length will be in meter so if you have another code you can consider that uh, code provision standard system 
so click on next option so after that it will be consisting of your uh, uh, options here like this like add beam command add plate all add solid and open structure wizard and something like this you can select add beam command only why because we have to select the rcc resistant frame design only rcc frame structure only okay that's why we have to select the beam only click on finish option so then the final view of the start pro software will be open here like this this is the front view and this is the back side view this is the left side view this is the right side view this is the top view this is the bottom view this is the 3d isometric view okay so we can keep it as front view okay so this is the uh, setup in the file okay so this is the step regarding the setting in the file now we have to model the uh, structure okay so for that we have to we can create the columns directly by using beam command option also but instead of creating the beam command uh, we have to use the geometry command why because in beam creation command it will take lot of time okay so but in case of the geometric command you can easily create the model by using a geometric option within one minute okay so now i will select the geometric command structure wizard option in this we have to select this option so from this we have to select the frame models option now you can see this is the frame models it will be consisting of bay frame grid frame floor grid and continuous beam cylindrical frame reverse cylinder circular beam from this you can select the bay frame or grid frame so here in this case just i am selecting the bay frame why because it will be consisting of the fixed supports at the uh, base condition system that's why i am selecting here as base frame only then after that it will ask you to enter your data related to your building what is the height of the building and what is the length of the building what is the width of the building how many number of the base will be consisting of in length direction how many member of the uh, base will be consisting in height direction and how many member of the base will be consisting in width direction system okay so here i am selecting my length of the building approximately just i am taking here as 15 meter let us consider and height of the building will be consisting of g plus 4 structural model which is of 5 floors so each floor just i am taking here as 3 meter okay so i am not considering 3.3 meter for the ground store so if you want you can consider the 3.3 meter also okay so here i am in this case just i am taking 15 floors only uh, sorry five floors only so five multiplied by each floor will be consisting of 3 meter height which is give the value as 15 meter again i am selecting width of the building will be consisting of 12 meter here okay then after that we have to enter the number of the base along length direction just i am taking here as 5 and height direction is also consisting of 5 numbers and uh, again i am selecting number of base along the width direction also just i am considering here as 4 meter if you have the center to center data you can directly enter the center to center data by using this edit option so it will be consisting of center to center data here like this if you consider let us consider i am having the beam which is having the first beam to so first column to second column center to center distances 3.3 uh, 2.5 meter again in the same process if you have the center to center data for the second column will be consisting of 2.5 meter in the same process you can enter the center to center data depends upon your consideration but this center to summation of this center to center data will be equals to this 15 meter so here in this case i was taking this 15 meter so click on ok so that it will uh, assign the center to center data here for the column in the same process you can apply the center to center data for the width direction also so just directly i am applying here so that the skeleton model will be open here like this now you can see this is the 3.5 this is the 2.5 this is 3 this is 2.5 this is 3.5 so here i was taken the irregular data and this i was taken here as regular data now we have to close this option in order to import the model from structure wizard option to start per software so why because here if we are only uh, made the model in structure wizard option so click on ok option so that uh, your model will be imported to stand software here like this now we can see the skeleton model was imported here like this now we have to add the slab sections for the section so for the select the front view option so firstly i will add the slab section at this particular story then after uh, selecting the slab section at this particular story then i will copy the rest of the uh, slabs to remaining floats so for that firstly i am selecting the cut section command on the top select the selective view option click on ok so just i am selecting here by dragging method so click on the 3d view option so now we have to add the slab section for this particular floor okay so for that just i am selecting the add node four node plate option here this is the best option for applying the slabs okay you can do the designing process without applying the slabs also some people will not apply the slabs just they will keep only the frame model so here in this case example just i am taking the slab model okay so just i am selecting first node plate second node plate third node plate and fourth node plate in the same process just i am creating one more uh, plate here like this again i am selecting next plate here like this again i am selecting the next plate here like this 
in the same process just i'm selecting last plate here like this now we have to copy these plates to z direction select the plate cursor just i'm selecting the plates in z direction distance which is consisting of number of steps are three each step will be consisting of approximately three meter so that it will copy your plates to the rest of the things here so after that we here we need the whole structure here so for that we have to click on the whole structure command on the top so just we have to select this particular slab section just we have to drag the model and we have to copy this particular plates to the remaining floats just i'm selecting here as transitional repeat option for that again we have to create in y direction we required is one two three four floors number of steps are floor each step will be consisting of three meter click on okay now we can see it was created your model here like this okay so after creating the model just we have to apply the fixed support conditions at the base so further select the general option select the support condition click on create option click on select option select the support to select the front view option now we have to select all the node points at the base so click on the assign to selected nodes option from this particular option it will be consisting of assign to view use cursor to assign assign to edit list so best option is assign to selected beams assign yes option now you can see it was applied with this uh, fixed support conditions at the base then after that we have to apply the properties like beam size column size as well as the slab thickness so for that we have to select the property command from this we have to define the property why because we are defined the property according to our uh, consider dimensions like uh, column size is 0.6 0.4 we are taken and uh, beam size is 0.4 0.4 we are taken so we have to define the properties according to our considerations only that's why just i'm selecting define option here so it will be consisting of the shapes here like this like uh, circular rectangle t shape trapezoidal general trip uh, taper die a uh, taper tube assigned profile so in this case we have to select the rectangular section so here i am selecting the zd value will be consisting of approximately 0.6 value again yd just i am taking here as 0.4 click on add option in the same process we have to add the 0.4 cross 0.4 so for the beam section now we have to define the thickness for the slab so for that we have to click on the slab thickness option so here i am taking 0.15 150 mm or else you can take according to the definition uh 120 also just i'm taking 150 why because in the definition part just i was taken here as 150 click on add option close option this is the property which is related to column this is the property which is related uh, to beam this is the property which is related to slab so firstly we have to select the column so we have to select the columns in y direction why because it will be consisting of the column in vertical direction only na? So that's why we have to select option beams parallel to y direction condition system assign to selected beams option we have to select here click on assign option click on yes option in the same process we have to select the rectangular property go to select option beams parallel to we have to select in x direction condition again in the same process we have to select in z direction condition assign to selected beams option assign option now we have to select the plate thickness so we have to assign to view option click on assign to view assign yes option now you can see this was done with uh, all the modeling process this is the first step we have to follow major step modeling process so now i will explain you the uh, how to apply the load cases and how to define the load cases in stat pro software so before that i will show you the rendering view for the particular model click on the 3d rendering view option now we can see this is a 3d rendering view option for the building structural model so it will be consisting of the column size is 0.6 cross 0.4 and beam size is 0.4 cross 0.4 in the same process slab thickness will be consisting of 120 mm okay so now i am closing this 3d rendering view option from here so we have to define the load cases for that we have to click on the loads and definition so the load, load cases will be comes under the two categories basically it will be consisting of gravitational loading conditions as well as the lateral loading condition the loads which are acting towards the gravitational force we, we can call it as gravity loading condition if the loads are acting perpendicular to the gravitational direction we can call it as lateral loading condition basically dead load live load floor load will be comes under the gravity loading condition and the loads which are related to lateral loading conditions earthquake load and wind load we can consider as wind loading condition and we can consider as lateral loading condition okay so firstly we have to define the load cases related to seismic loading intensity as well as the wind loading intensity for that we have to click on this place mark which is related to definition part so in this we have the options like vehicle definition time history wind snow reference something is there so from this we have to pick uh, seismic definition part on click on add option from this we have to select our required code so here 
I'm selecting IS codal provision system only. That's why just I'm selecting here as IS code. Click on generate option so that it will open your options here like this. So as per my observation, I was uh, observed that in SS6 version software, the generate command option, if you click on the generate command option, some error will be obtaining. So that's why I'm referring you to uh, follow the SSC 5 version software if you are available with. Okay. So here in this case, we have to select the city or zone. So city, it will be consisting of different types of the cities in India. Okay. So if you select another code, it will be consisting of different uh, considerations. Okay. So from this, just I'm selecting the zone. This time I know the zone value for the particular city. No need to select the uh, city option. If you know, don't know the zone value, then you can directly select the city. So for example, this time I'm taking Delhi here. So it will be consisting of 0.24 seismic coefficient factor here like this. Again in the same process, if I select the Hyderabad, it will be consisting of 0.1. Again in the same process, if you consider the Kolkata, it will be consisting of uh, some uh, 0.16. So seismic coefficient value will be varying for the different city. So for this example, just I'm taking Delhi. Let us consider just I'm taking here as Delhi, which is having 0.24 seismic coefficient factor. So response reduction factor we will consider as 5 percentage and uh, importance factor as 1. Just I'm taking here as medium soil condition. RC frame resistance structure we have selected here with the damping ratio is 5 percentage. Click on generate option so that the properties will be generated here like this. So we have to edit the damping ratio as 0 0.05. Why? Because it will be consisting of 5 percentage now 5 divided by 100 which will give the values 0 0.05. So click on add button here. So after that we have to uh, add the self weight condition system which is of 1. Click on add. Again we have to select the member weight which is consisting of uniform load. So here in this member weight we have to enter the all the wall loading condition which is related to uh, external wall loading condition system, internal wall loading condition system and parapet wall loading condition system. So depends upon your consideration you can calculate the wall loading condition system. So here in this example just I am calculating the wall loading condition. For example just I am taking the external wall will be consisting of 0 0.23 is the thickness of the wall. Next we have to multiply this respected value with unit weight of the brickwork. It will be varying between 18 to 20 kilo Newton per meter cube. So here I am taking as 20 reference just multiply with height of the structure which will be consisting of 3 so that it, it can get the external wall load will be consisting of 13.8 kilo Newton per meter. Again in the same process we can calculate the internal wall which is consisting of 0 0.125 is the thickness if I consider multiplied by uh, 20 is the unit weight of the brickwork if I multiply it with the 3 so that it can get the value 7.5 here. In the same process if you calculate the value of the parapet wall load we have to take the single brick work which is consisting of 0 0.125 thickness and if I multiply this value with 20 and if I multiply it with 1.2 so that can it can get the value is 3 meter. Why? Because we can consider the height of the particular structure of parapet wall load is 3 meter. So if I sum the value 3 plus 7.5 plus external wall internal wall as well as the parapet wall load 13.8 so that it can get the value is 24.3. So directly just I am taking the uh, cumulative value of 24.3 kN per meter here. Click on add option. Then after that you can enter the floor weight. If you are, uh, know the value of the floor weight we can enter here. So here I am calculating the floor weight. Please observe here. So just I am taking the floor thickness will be consisting of 0 0.1 meter which is of 100 mm. So we have to multiply it with uh, unit weight of the floor 20 so that it can get the value is 2 here. So 2 we have to enter here. And we have to enter in y direction condition only. So 3 meter is the minimum value, maximum will be of 15. Click on add option, close option. Select the uniform load. This will be comes under your wall loading condition. Basically the wall loading condition will be applied for the uh, beams only. So that's why just I am selecting, go to select option, beams parallel to x direction condition. Again I am selecting beams parallel to z direction condition. Click on assign to select a beams option here. Click on assign, click on this option. Now I was defined the seismic loading intensity. In the same process, we have to define the wind loading intensity. Click on add option. Select type 1 wind 1 add option here. Close option here. So select this particular option and click on uh, add option. So if you are uh, familiar with IS4875 uh, part 3 code, you can directly calculate the intensity versus height. So in my previous videos, I was calculated the intensity. How to calculate this intensity depends upon your height. As per IS875 part 3 code, I will provide you that video in above Kotlin. You can watch that video from here. Okay. So if you don't know how to calculate the wind load according to IS875 part 3 code, so you can apply the procedure which I am explaining here now. So you can select as per AAC7 code. So from this we have to select the uh, category value. 
so the category will be will be depends upon the height of the obstacle or hill region uh, which is near to our construction site so here in this case just i am taking category will be consisting of 3 which is having the height of the obstruction will be consisting of approximately 6 meter to 9 meter range okay so here we have to enter the wind speed just i am taking here as 44 let us consider uh, meter per second wind speed which is consisting of 44 meter per second and exposure will be of b and building structure will be of structure type click on apply option then after that we have to enter the main building data so here in this case we have to enter the length of the building height of the building and width of the building so length of the building as per my definition i was taken 15 meter and width of the building is 12 meter and the wind direction will be of 12 meter uh, and uh, sorry length of the building is 15 meter and width of the building is 12 meter so we have to change the value feet to meter here like this now we can see it was changed here directly click on apply option again we have to select the wind definition pressure so it will be consisting of uh, three types of the wind loading condition system windward direction leeward direction side wall condition windward direction is nothing but the wind is acting towards the building so wind is acting from the building leeward and wind is acting for the side wall basically we will consider the side wall will for the uh, shear wall condition system so in in this case just i am taking wind is acting towards the building structural condition click on apply option click on okay option so that it will generate the data here like this so now we have to add this particular data and we have to add the exposure factor as one we have to give the factor as one for all node points why because it will affect the node points only for the wind loading condition system we have to click on assign to view option here assign option yes option here so that it will apply the wind direction loading here like this now we have to define the load cases so click on load cases details option click on add option firstly we have to select the seismic loading condition why because we are defined under the seismic loading intensity in the definition part itself that's why we have to take the seismic loading intensity here again i am selecting seismic loading y direction condition here in the same process we are defined under the wind loading condition in the second part wind loading in x direction again in the same process we have to select the wind load in y direction condition system now we have to define the dead loading condition just we have to click on dl enter option again i am selecting live loading condition click on ll enter option so click on close option so these are the major load cases we are defined according to our consideration now here in this case we have to apply the seismic load initially just i am selecting seismic load so click on the seismic load intensity from this so we have to apply in x direction with factor as 1 click on add option close option in the same process we have to select the earthquake load in y direction condition which is comes under this particular seismic loading intensity of z direction y is nothing but vertical direction for simple understanding of x and y direction plan just i am taking x and y direction you can take z direction also so here i am taking z click on add option close option so wind x direction so just i am selecting here as wind loading intensity which is acting in x direction with a factor as 1 some cases it will be act leva direction combination so that's why just i am taking minus 1 also here from this particular definition now we have to select the wind load in y direction condition system click on add so click on uh, wind loading intensity with z direction wind word direction 1 and uh, with the factor as minus 1 also just i am selecting here now you can see it was applied your wind loading condition here like this but it will not show you the seismic load intensity after analysis process i will show you the seismic load intensity so this is at z direction wind direction value now we have to apply the dead loading condition select the dead load click on add so firstly we have to apply the self weight condition from this particular option next i am selecting self weight add option then after that we have to add the member weight which is related to combination of external wall load internal wall load and parapet wall load which is of 24.3 kN per meter intensity just uh, i was applied the seismic load uh, uh, cases 24.3 so click on add option so now we have to apply the floor load condition system we have to apply the pressure intensity of minus 2 which is acting at a distance of 3 meter why because my first slab is at a distance of 3 meter from the ground and last slab will be at a distance of 15 15 meter from the ground click on add option close option firstly we have to select the self weight by using assign to view option we have to assign this property now again we have to apply the uh, uniform load for the beams go to select option for that select the beams parallel to x direction condition go to select option beams parallel to z direction condition click on assign to selected beams assign yes option now we have to apply the live loading condition which is related to the floor load so select the live, add option here so click on the select your floor load condition so basically for the live load residential building we will consider as 2 to 3 kN per meter square the worst case is 3 so that's why just i am taking here as 3 and uh, uh, 3 meter is the first slab and 15 meter is the last slab click on add option close option now we have to select the load cases details click on add button 
firstly we have to select the auto load combination for adding the load combination cases so here i am selecting is codal provision standard system indian code general structure click on generate loads click on add click on close so that it will generate the load combinations here like this now we have to analyze the structure go to analysis and print add your no print close option go to analyze option analysis save option here so this is the part which is related to uh, applying the load cases as well as the analysis part so after the analysis part is completed we have to check the results which is related to shear force bending deflection for the particular building so for that we have to click on the post processing mode option from this now we can see here my model is obtained with zero errors one warning is there so in my upcoming video i will explain how to reduce that warnings okay click on done option click on apply all your load cases click on okay so now we can see this is the deflection diagram for the particular beam if you want to see the deflection diagram uh, uh, you have to click on the uh, control option and you have to click on the mouse central scroll button okay now you can see this is the deflection diagram due to the presence of the loading condition the deflection diagram will be showing here like this in the same process you can see the shear force diagram by using click on fy value this is the shear force diagram for the particular building structure in the same process you can see the bending one diagram so this is the bending one diagram for the particular structure each and every beam will be consisting of some bending moment diagram okay so now after checking the analysis part results last part will be comes under the designing part in the designing part we have to design the beam we have to design the column we have to design the slab as well as we have to design the foundation section <clears throat> so for that firstly we have to click on the modeling option from the left hand side so we have to select that designing option so from this we have to select the concrete section so in this we have to select the is codal provision indian standard system is 456 2000 uh so uh, 2000 code so after selecting is code we have to pick the parameters here so like we are taking the grade of the concrete grade of the steel and so we have to uh, select the, those parameters so click on select parameters firstly we have to deselect all the parameters from this parameter we have to pick compress strength yield strength yield strength of shear reinforcement maximum main maximum secondary here click on okay then after that we have to select the defined parameters so from this parameter we have to define the parameters like grade of the concrete is m30 grade why because in the definition part we are taking m30 grade concrete provision and grade of the steel will be a 415 grade steel provision 415 300 we have to tick click on add option fi section enforcement will be consisting of 415 300 here click on add option select maximum main this time selecting here as 20 mm diameter click on add option secondary will be of 12 mm diameter click on add option close option now we have to define the comments option we have to select the design beam command so we have to select the design column command design slab element command and take off command click on add close option so now we have to check this uh, results so firstly we have to select the fc which is of 30000 by using assign to v option we have to assign for the building structure here so click on assign yes option if i mean also assign to view assign yes option in the same process fi section enforcement assign to view auto select assign yes option select maximum main we have to click on assign to view option assign to view yes select assign to view for the particular uh, steel section also why because it will be consisting of similar for the beams columns now we have to select the design beam we have to pick beams parallel to x direction condition we have to select the beams parallel to z direction condition assign to selected beams assign yes in the same process we have to select beams parallel to y direction condition assign to selected beams assign yes option and we have to select the assign to view for the plate element command click on assign to view option so now we have to uh, analyze the structure again once again click on analysis and print add your no print close option analyze run analysis save option here so we have to check for the zero errors again if you are obtained with any kind of the errors here so you can uh, conclude that the error will be applied uh, uh, observed in designing part we have to repeat the designing part in order to get the zero errors now we can see here my model is obtained with zero errors go to post processing mode again click on done option okay so now we can see this is the deflection diagram initially we need to deselect the deflection diagram so in order to the see the uh, diagram which is related to the beam reinforcement details column reinforcement details so we have to click on any one of the beam here this time selecting here click on the concrete design now we can see it will be consisting of the three bars of 20 mm diameter at the top reinforcement section and four bars of 12 mm diameter at the bottom reinforcement section for this particular beam in the same process you can select any one of the beam here so that it will show you the reinforcement details here like this 
Okay, in the same process, just I'm selecting the column, just I'm selecting here, click on the concrete design. Now we can see it will be consisting of eight number of the bars which is exist for the particular column which is consisting of 12 mm diameter bar with the AST percentage is 0.37 percentage, AST requirement is 706 mm square. Okay, so just click on the cancel option here. In the same process, we have to check the output file which is related to slab beam column. The slab design results will not be applied uh, in this particular 3D view. So if you want to select, see the result, you can select any one of the slab, just uh, you can double click on it so that it will show you the geometric property, property constraint and the center stress value, how much amount of the load is acting on that particular section, corner stress values and property constraints and uh, some values here like this. Okay, you can see the results in the uh, output file. Okay, so this time selecting here output file which is available on below the mode command red color mark. Okay. So it will take some time for loading the process. So here it was loaded with 362 pages for my particular project. So select the results option here, concrete design. So that it will show you the, all the designing results for the particular beam section. It will be consisting of beam design results here like this. It will be consisting of column design results here like this. And again, it will be consisting of uh, slab designing results. So now I will show you the slab designing results. So now we can see this is the slab designing results part for the different plate sections. So it will be consisting of the uh, sorry top reinforcement section as well as the bottom reinforcement section movement and this is the transitional reinforcement section for the slab. Okay. So now uh, I will show you how to design the foundation for this particular project. Okay. So click on the foundation design, select the primary load cases which is related to earthquake load, wind loading condition, dead load, live loading condition. Include this particular loading condition system. Directly click on the run start foundation so that the fixed supports which is related to this G plus 4 building model will be imported to start foundation software. In the start foundation software, you can easily uh, design the foundation according to considerations of the safe bearing capacity of the soil. Now we can see these are the fixed support conditions. Firstly, before designing the foundation, we have to generate the load cases. From this, we have to select the loads and factor option. So click on generate load combination. In this, we have to select the Indian standard system. Click on the generate load combination for the uh, service load combination initially. Then after that, we have to select the generate load combination for the ultimate loading combination system. So click on OK option here. Then after that, we have to uh, go to the job setup click on the create job option so select the job name f option isolated footing select as per indian standard system so select the code will be of si system uh, and we have to select for all support condition system so we have to include the load combination which is related to generated combinations like 101 102 201 202 203 204 like this so click on create job option so that the isolated footing job information values will be open on the left hand side. So you can enter the geometry according to your consideration. So here I am taking some geometry here like this and cover and soil type. So here we have to enter the soil type value which is related to safe bearing capacity. Now you can see here in the definition part we are taking the safe bearing capacity will be of 200 kilonewton per meter square. So here I am entering the value is 200 here. 200. Again, in the same process, we have to select the footing geometry. If you know with the footing geometry, sliding and water turning movement value, click on design option. Finally, click on design option. Yes, option so that it will start designing your model. If you obtain it with no design results here in this case, you, you can observe that the design which you are done with uh, uh, the model is not correct. Sometimes it will be not show your foundation design results if you are exceeding the limiting values. So here in this case, I was taking the uh, IS codal provision. So it will be consisting of my design values here like this. So you can pick any one of the foundation from here. Just I'm selecting foundation number five. It will be consisting of complete data related to foundation design and complete calculation. So in order to see the results, we have to click on the geometry details and drawing. Now we can see this is the details and drawing for the geometric details. It will be consisting of your reinforcement details here like this for the foundation. The dimensions will be available on this particular top view. So you can export this uh, file to CAD also. It will be available with the uh, same as drawing file. So this is the GA drawing uh, center to center distance for the foundation. So this is the calculation sheet for the particular section. So this is a complete process of uh, analysis and designing a four story building by using StatPro V8i software. So please subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos on civil engineering topics. Okay. So if you have any queries about this respected video, please try to text me your questions in the below comment box so that I will give you the answer for your queries. Thank you.